Yeah. Um, yeah. Go Navy Women's Lacrosse. We had a great uh, Patriot League home opener. You know, after coming on two away Patriot League games at Colgate and at Loyola, it was good to come home and have this decisive victory over Boston University. Um, couldn't be more proud of the team. And, you know, really a shout out to really what, above the captains and the team, what really makes things um, work is, you know, great, great coaches. You know, for Gabby Capuzzi Solomon and, um, you know, Brooke Matthew Shriver, you know, and, and Taylor Pizone, you know, we, we really regrouped after our loss at Loyola, wanted to make sure that we had the right mindset and uh, stepped out on the field today against BU to have this decisive victory. What does this mean for you heading into your next game against St. Joseph? Yeah, well, it means a lot. <laughs> you know, uh, the midweek games are always a, uh, you just have to be curious as a coach what's going to happen in a midweek game. Uh, going up to St. Joe's in that Philly area, I always feel like a team that is from, you know, like from Philadelphia, that kid decides to go to kind of a city school, even like Boston University, they're tough kids. Um, it will be a tough game on the road. Um, but, you know, if we can play with that decisiveness, uh, really that championship focus and be well prepared, we already have the scout on them. Uh, you know, we really, really feel good about that midweek game. But it, but it's always a tough one um, when you're playing on a Saturday. We played last Saturday, then Wednesday night, and now turning it around again this Saturday and then into Wednesday night. But um, our team is resilient. We have a lot of players that come off the bench and be contributors. And so um, collectively, I believe our team has the right mindset he heading up to Philadelphia and to the, you know, the Hawks of St. Joseph's. Um, college or university, yes, it, the Hulk, it never stops. Um, we're pretty uh, stoked and fired up about going up there. You talked a little bit about the struggles to kind of get ready for a midweek game. What does it say about your team that they were able to kind of, I know they're coming off the spring break and the weather's not great today, but they were still able to kind of oh. come out with energy and control the game throughout. Yeah, I think it was, again, a great mindset. As you know, it wasn't just raining. It was torrential. The field at some areas were flooded. Um, and we dried it off for the men's game. <laughs> just kidding. But, you know, I think that um, we've been in these situations playing in the rain, and our team has usually risen up when it's been wet and rainy. But I think, as you know, as a coach, you don't want anything to marginalize you know, your skill sets and what you run offensively and defensively. We knew that defensively we had to stay lower. Offensively we had to make simpler passes because of errant balls, the same philosophy as you were playing in a football game. So, um, yeah, uh, when they had the right mindset, I knew we would come out. Um, I thought also Alyssa, our draw person, responded. It was a tough uh, night given that. Loyola has a very good draw person for Alyssa to get back at it and really grind through a couple tough practices for the draw control for today's game. Um, yeah, I mean, again, I think we look at all aspects of the game and excited um, about stepping out on the field against St. Joe's um, this week.